everyone welcome back to my craft room if you're new to my craft room then welcome today I am going to be working on this um, soap dispenser that I picked up last week at Dollar Tree I wanted to do another one I have one in my bathroom now that I did last year and I wanted to do one here for Easter and springtime and for a buck you can't go wrong and these decorate up nice and the one I used in the bathroom it held up fine it, nothing happened to it it's you know I wasn't sure in the bathroom with the steam and all that stuff um, how it would hold up, but it held up wonderfully. Um, so I'm going to take this thing off of here, and I'm going to put a little bit of this um, painter's tape around there, just so I don't get any paint on that, because I'm going to paint this with the um, Folk Art Home Decor, Home Decor Chalk Paint. Uh, the color of this is Sheepskin. There's, this is almost empty. Um, I have one of these in a Dollar Tree jar, because I ordered it from Joann's and for some reason they thought it was a good idea to ship all my paint in one of those thin plastic envelopes. So needless to say when I got it the bottle was cracked but luckily I had a bunch of these jars from Dollar Tree so it all worked out anyway. It wasn't worth the hassle of trying to get it replaced because it was fine. But anyway I don't know why they shipped it like that. So I'm just going to take a piece of this um, painter's tape and just go around here on the grooves here where it screws on the threads or whatever and uh, I don't want to get any paint on there so if I get this up high enough um, so that's what I do for that Ugh, there we go and we're going to decoupage this one because I love decoupage and you can make anything like this cheap little dollar uh, soap dispenser look like a million bucks well maybe 20 bucks I don't know but anyway it'll look nice I didn't get that off of there yet I'll get that off after alright so anyway what you want to do is make sure this is nice and clean I've already wiped this down with some alcohol just to make sure that there's no oils on it and things like that before you paint it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these napkins. They were, these were sent to me from a subscriber. Her name is Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. I love these because they have all these little prints on here that I can cut out individually that I'm going to put around here. And then this other napkin that she sent me too, I want to use these little butterflies off of here. So like I said, you can, you know, mix and match napkins. You know, if you find a butterfly you like on one and flowers on another, you just use different ones. I was actually going to try this one too, but... Um, I'm not quite sure how to cut this out without really making it not look nice because they all kind of overlap but I probably could get a few of these out of here but this is a real pretty one too um, you can find pretty napkins anywhere I've bought some on Amazon but then you have to buy the whole pack or you can check on Etsy um, a lot of people sell like you know three or four uh, napkins you know if you don't want to buy a whole pack and you can find all kinds of pretty varieties on there and I think they have a lot of sellers on eBay too. And you and I like to check like when I go to the Christmas tree shop, any store, grocery store, sometimes I find some really pretty napkins too. So you can find them pretty much anywhere, any kind of print. So anyway, I think that's all we need for this. Of course, I'm going to use my little water brush to cut these out. And I'll show you guys for anybody who hasn't seen that yet. But the first thing I want to do is get this thing painted up. So let me pour out, hopefully this is going to pour out nicely out of this drawer. These jars came in really handy. They have these out usually for different holidays and things. Um, and then after I take my napkins apart, because you always go down to the one-ply napkin, I always save these here for just this kind of thing. Alright, and I've got paint on me already. Well, let me set that up there. Alright, so I'm just going to use a sponge brush from Dollar Tree. This is a very inexpensive, and this would make a great gift for somebody, too, if you want to give them something special for Easter. Put some really nice uh, hand soaps in there or something. I just like to put a bunch of this on the sponge, and then just kind of, I kind of sometimes just work it around like this. And then you want to pat it so it doesn't have any of the, like, lines in it. And this comes out with a real nice finish this way. Um, it kind of looks more like pottery when it's done. And these are little bubbles and things. They do, you know, they do go away, most of it. There's a little texture when you're done, but most of it will calm down real nicely. And it looks real pretty. I love the way these look when they're finished. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do this whole thing here. <coughs> and i got to remember to get that sticker off the bottom so I can... I don't know if I'm actually going to do the bottom. I think I'm just going to leave that be. And then you're going to need some Mod Podge. Now I'm going to use regular, um, like the Gloss Mods Pod, Mod Pod. I can't talk today. <laughs> Mod Podge from you can get it at Dollar Tree usually. They come in these small bottles here. So I'm going to use the gloss to put this the images on here with. And then when I get everything on there nice, I'm going to put a coat of the dishwasher safe Mod Podge on it. That way, you know, if it gets dirty and stuff, you can wash it off. I wouldn't recommend putting it in the dishwasher. Um, I'm still too scared to try this stuff out in the dishwasher after, you know, you do all this work. So you could just hand wash it off real quick. But I am going to put a coat of that on when this is all finished. And I didn't even do that with the other one that I did in the bathroom. I just used the regular gloss Mod Podge, and I had no problem with it. I just wipe it off real quick. Because, you know, they don't get too dirty. But anyway, I'm just going to go around and paint this. And the only reason I'm painting this, it's already white, and you guys are probably thinking, why even bother? It just matches the back of the napkin a little bit better. This has more of an off-white background, so if you were to decoupage that onto the pure white here, um, you'd actually see most of your edges, I think. So, And I just find it much easier. I've tried to um, decoupage on these things and it just slides and I end up ripping my napkins and you just get a much better hold if you put a coat of um, chalk paint on here first. And I like to chalk paint the best. I know you can use um, acrylic paint if you want to, but the chalk paint really grabs onto glass and stuff because if you forget to wash this out of your little bowls here and things, it's really gonna be a hard time getting it off. You really gotta scrub it off. So that's why I like to use the chalk paint. But anyway, I got this almost done here now that I just, you know, kept on yakking. But, alright, I'm going to finish this up. I don't even think it's going to need a second coat. I'll take a nice, uh, good look at it here when it dries. I think one coat of this is going to be fine since it's already white underneath. And, you know, we're going to put all our images on here. So I think that'll be good. So I'm going to finish this up and let it dry, and then we're going to come back and I'll show you. Um, I'm going to cut out a bunch of these while this is drying, but I'll show you how I do these for anybody who hasn't seen that yet. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, this is nice and dry. I like the way this turned out. I like um, the look of that after you sponge the chalk paint on there. So I took this off. I don't even know why, so I had to put on a fresh piece of tape up here because I don't want to get Mod Podge on there either on the uh, threads of the thing. So now, to get your images, whatever napkin you happen to find, there's so many pretty napkins out there, so whichever one you decide to use, you need to take it down to the one-ply. Um, this is actually a three-ply napkin, so you're going to want to peel those two off. Just like so. And then these I always keep on the side here to use for uh, little messes or whatever. Now I can't get it apart. Here we go. Take the other two and just keep them over here on the side in case I need to clean something up. Alright, so then you're going to want to take, you can either use a regular paintbrush. Um, I already cut some of these out, just get a little head start here. You can either use a, a regular paintbrush and dip it in a little bit of water. I always use these um, little water pens that I got. I got these for Christmas one year. You can get these on Amazon. I think you can get them at Joann's and Hobby Lobby and Michael's. Um, they're watercolor pens, but if you don't have a watercolor pen, you can just use, you know, a regular small paintbrush from Dollar Tree, dip it in some water, and pretty much do the same thing I'm going to show you here. In case there's someone who has not seen me do my decoupage before, this is how I cut out my little images. So I want to get another one of these little bunnies out of here. So all I do is I take my water pen and I just go around the outside of the bunny and if he gets a little wet it doesn't matter and then I take this is a little spatula thing that came with a paint set you could use a uh, plastic um, knife or something or even maybe a coin or something too if you ha if you don't have that all right we're gonna cut out this little bunny just take your water pen here go around the edge like so of your image and then just pull it away 
and try not to rip any of your image. Sometimes I get these a little too wet and I rip them. And you want to do it on something smooth here like this glass mat or countertop or something. Um, so it just kind of slides away easy. And that's it. Just keep going around them. Try to get some of his little whiskers here. That's good. And just keep pulling it away. And yes, I had to edit this video because I put too much water on the other one. When I lifted it up, there was something sticky on my mat, and I pulled his poor little face off. So that is what that will look like after you get that cut out. So I'm going to put this aside here and start putting on some of these images because I'm going to do the front and the back exactly the same. So um, I'll just show you how I'm going to do the front. So let me get this out of the way. So it's just going to be very noisy. So now I have to do is get some of your Mod Podge, put a little bit in a bowl, and I like to use a smaller brush when I do these, especially with these smaller uh, pieces that I'm going to be putting on here. I just seem to have a lot more control than with a bigger brush, but whatever you're comfortable with. And I'm going to start with my bunny, because I'm going to kind of work around him. And I want him to be right here on this part of the soap dispenser. So now that we're down to one ply, you don't need to put any down first. And I don't like putting Mod Podge down first because if you put this on here and it's not exactly where you want it, you can't move it or it'll tear. So it's very thin when you get down to the one ply and the Mod Podge will soak right through. So you don't even have to worry about it. But see how those edges just kind of blend in really nice. You don't even see them. It just looks like a painted on picture. I love doing decoupage. I could decoupage everything in my house if I find a napkin that I like. It's very addicting once you get started. And just work in little small sections at a time. I know a lot of people always, you know, worry about getting so many wrinkles, but just don't do too big of a section at a time. Make sure you get that one down before you move on to the next. So there, there's our little bunny. Then I usually try to get my uh, brush strokes all going in the same direction here. So there, there's our little bunny on here. Hey, cute. All right, so now I was just going to decorate the top. I think I'm actually going to decorate, uh, decoupage some flowers on the bottom here too and make this real festive. And then I may put a few flowers up here too. Um, we'll see as we go on here, but let's see, how do we like that one there? I think that'll look cute right there. Alright. It's sticking to the decoupage, so you got to be so careful that you get it in the exact spot you want it in. There. Okay. Oh, I think this is going to be so cute. Look at that. This is a beautiful, beautiful napkin. I used to love to go up to like the Christmas tree shop and stuff. I haven't been there in a while because, you know, I try not to go to too many different places. And that place is always so crowded. And there's no room to move in there. I don't know about yours, but that's how ours is around here. Very crowded. Now sometimes you'll see like these little wrinkles in here. <clears throat> and a lot of times once this dries, it will kind of flatten out. You don't have to get too crazy about it. There, and there's our first flower. We're just going to have this little bunny sitting in amongst all the flowers. You could make one for Easter. You can make them for any holiday. I mean, you can get one of these things for a dollar and just make it look like a million bucks. Alright, so let's see. Maybe I'll put this yellow one on the other side. 
And I like to try to stick doing one side at a time, otherwise I end up sticking my hand in the Mod Podge and making a mess. So we'll put this one kind of close, like he's smelling this little flower. Make sure none of your ends are tucked under before you put it down. And I think that'll be right there. You just want to make sure you got a lot of Mod Podge on your brush. Going up and over a little bit. There we go. right there. It doesn't seem to be stuck very well. It's a Mod Podge in there. All right. So there we go. There is our start. And I think that is really nice. So that's the front. I'm going to put another bunny right back here and then work in some flowers on the side there. And then what I think I want to do is just add some more flowers down here at the bottom. Maybe just kind of under the bunny and I think that'll look pretty. I was just going to leave this plain. I mean you could leave it plain or you could maybe... I don't really want to put jute string on it because it's going to be in my bathroom. Um, and you know it's going to get you know, it gets damp and things from the shower going and whatever, so I really didn't want jute string on this one. But that would look cute. Maybe for in a kitchen or something where it's not so damp all the time. <clears throat> but yeah, I think I'm going to put this down here. And he'll just be sitting among the flowers. Why not? I want to use a lot of this napkin because it's just so darn pretty. Alright, I think that'll be straight. It's going to be adorable. Like I said, you could decorate the bottom completely different if you wanted to. You don't even have to decoupage it at all. You could make it a two-tone color. Um, all kinds of things you could do. Alright, so... This is just how the method I am going to do this whole thing in here. And after I get the rest of these on, because like I said, I'm going to do the exact same thing on the back. Oh, I think that's so cute. I can't wait till this dries to see how this images look. Um, I don't even know what I was saying. I get sidetracked real easy. But anyway, that's what I was saying. But I'm going to do the other side exactly the same way. So I'm not going to make you guys watch me do this all over again. But let's see. Um, I may have to cut out a different color, one of these for here. Or this could, no, well, that one's a little tall for there. I don't want that next to that. I may to get another yellow one cut out and put that one here. And then maybe I could put this one over here. I want to stick my hands in this. I know I'm gonna. Anyway. I don't know. We'll decide here in a minute. I'm going to cut a few more of these out, just how I showed you guys. 
and then I can put my other little bunny here on the back, but I don't want to do that until I get my flowers set up. But isn't that cute? And I think what I'm going to do is take just some of these flowers here and just cut like a... I don't want to get this stuck. Let me move this. Um, just like a few of these out, like right here. And maybe, you know, some of these the same way and just have them coming out from the top. I think that'll look cute. So let me get the rest of these cut out and I'll finish putting on the bottom and then we'll come back and finish this top rim. Alright, I got the other side done. I put on all the little flowers here. I think that came out really cute. And now for the top, I started putting some of these little flowers on here. I'll show you how I did that. I just cut out a few of these little flowers out of the napkin, you know, just like a piece off of here, just so I could add a little something up at the top. So we're going to put this blue one right here. And this is real easy, the little pieces. You just paint those little guys on there. Just like that. And I also cut out a whole bunch of the little, I think I have six of them here, are these little butterflies from the other napkin that I'm going to put on here in some of these spaces that seem like it just needed something. And here's my other little, I cut out one of these little purple flowers and I'm going to put that one right up here so it looks like it's coming out of the top. And I think that will be it for the top of this. And like I said, you can mix and match napkins. You don't have to use all the same napkin if you find something from a different one that you like better. So there, that is going to be the top. And now over here I have a spot here that seems a little bit bare. So I am going to just stick one of these little butterflies up here. Let's see which side does it go this way. So I'm just going to stick him right in there. Butterfly. Oh, and the down here on the bottom, um, this one came down nice and low, and these are down, and this one was just up a little bit high, so I just ripped out another leaf um, from the image here. I don't know where they're at right now. Let's see. What is that? That is this one. Out of this one here, I just ripped a little leaf off, and I'm going to add that to the bottom so it kind of matches a little bit better. So I think I put that right about there. And then that can come down around the bottom. There we go. So then it doesn't look like it's up so much higher. I had actually added this leaf too because it was just up too high compared to the rest of them. So just to make it look a little bit better, I just added that extra leaf on the bottom there. And I think that looks good. Let's see, where else do I want to put a little butterfly? Maybe I'll put them on both sides of the um, little bunny here. There's this little pink butterfly I could stick right here. There we go. Smooth out this Mod Podge. And then once this all gets nice and dry, I'm just going to add one coat of the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge. This stuff is much thinner, and the reason I don't use this to put the napkin on with is for some reason um, I had a lot of trouble using this, and it would make the ink on the images run. So that's why I use the regular Mod Podge on here, and then I just seal it with the dishwasher safe mod podge because I know I forgot to mention that before why I was doing two different kinds but I really have not had a lot of luck on um, putting on the images with that mod podge it just doesn't work out well for me alright let's see I just want a couple more little butterflies here Maybe we'll add one here
looks good. And then I'll put another one right up in here. Look at this guy here. <clears throat> There we go. I did see another spot. Oh, I think it was down here I wanted to put one because it was a big bear spot. Let's take this green butterfly here. I don't think I put any of these on yet. And I think I want him. I'll get just a dab there. Right there. Fill in that little space a little bit. And then let's see. That's pretty good there. Maybe I'll put this one in here. There we go. And that is it. That is all I am going to put on here. This is finished as far as I'm concerned. I just have to let this dry real good. And I'm just going to paint over, just like with this Mod Podge, just paint over um, a nice coat of this. That way, you know, if it gets dirty or something, I can just take a damp cloth and really just wipe this down real good. And then after I get that done, um, I'm just going to take off my tape here and put on the top. I'm going to get a little soap in here. And I did test this thing out. That is another thing you really want to do before you go through all this trouble is when you get these um, little soap dispensers is make sure they work <laughs> because that could be really I'm just trying to get in here where there was some new mod budge that can be really disappointing if you go through all this work and then you find out that your soap dispenser does not work so I think I got it everywhere here Alright, so I'm just going to let this dry, put that coat on there and let it dry, and then I will come back and show you guys how this all looks put back together. Alright everyone, there it is all done. I think it just came out adorable. Um, I just love it. This would also be great if you wanted to give someone a little Easter gift, stick this in a little basket with something, and that would just be so sweet and it's like a couple bucks it costs it's to make that is it I mean it's a dollar for the thing you need a, just a napkin and some Mod Podge and there you go you have yourself a beautiful little gift for somebody or for yourself but I'm very happy how it turned out um, it's a really cute napkin so well, that's all you got to do is find yourself a pretty little napkin that you want to use and can have yourself a beautiful little soap dispenser and I wanted to do it with just like a regular bunny I didn't want to do it too Eastery because I wanted to be able to keep it out like all spring and even in the summer this would be fine too so I'm very happy with it so thanks so much for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed this project I will see you guys all next time have a great day everyone